You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. You want to know if there's anything I'm concerned about? Anything at all. You know, like whispers of spooky electronics-related rumors you might hear in the back of the store? Hmm. Rumors, huh? Uh, ain't spooky, but there are the ones about old Hahabu. Hahabu? Yeah. Hajime Hahabu. President of a tiny electronics outlet. Been on the verge of bankruptcy for a while now, on account of the economy. His wife left him and took the kid. But when the electronics boom hit, man, did he bounce back in a big way. Even got him his family back. Now that's a turnaround. He's been the talk of the Akihabara electronics industry since it all went down. Thanks for the tip. A reversal of fortune from a sudden electronics boom, huh? Oh, good, a safe spot. I could use a breather. Hmm, electronics-related rumors, you say? Yeah, like any sudden changes you can think of. Well, certainly. The president of Hahabu Electronics. His is a very suspicious set of circumstances. He's been making quite merry for some time now, saying it's the era of the large household appliance. Of course, given this boom, he may have a point. But still, it's very odd behavior. So, somebody's celebrating the era of the large household appliance. Okay, thanks. Huh? Uh, what's been on my mind lately, electronics-wise? Anything will do. I mean, Occupus still in the middle of an electronics boom, right? Just as big as ever. True that. <laughs> now, for a while there, I wasn't sure if it'd stay an electronics mecca or not. How about any electronics rumors? Or, I don't know, tips? Are those things? Huh. Rumors, huh? I mean, I guess there is one thing. There's this one store that was on the verge of bankruptcy. But now that electronics have gotten their second wind... Which store was this? The one right over there. Just between you and me, I hear their president was this close to committing suicide. So a president of an electronics store was saved by the electronics delusion. Phew. Well, I definitely got my fair share of info today. Ah, oh, Asahi. You two ended up sticking together, did you? No. We just ran into one another a moment ago. Where's Blondie frittering about? Somebody contact him right now! That won't be necessary. I'm already here. Hey, Yamato! Uncanny timing! So, did any of you uncover anything? According to Akemi, the president of Hahabu Electronics is a definite person of interest. Is that the shop near where they sell the canned Oden? Then that's pretty much what I managed to gather, too. A guy named Hajime Hahabu, right? Heard he was abandoned by his wife and kid. Until his delusion allowed him to fix everything and become happy again. Oh, guess we got our plans sorted out for the day now. That's right. Time to pay Hahabu Electronics a little visit. To Junk Street! That's the guy, right there. Ah, no errors in judgment here. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Let's go see what he has to say for himself. H hello Hmm? Who are you? You buying something? Well then, you made the right choice coming to my shop. Gotta say, youngsters these days are more shrewd than ever. Oh, uh, no, we're not here to buy anything. Oh, you looking for a repair then? Maybe an air conditioner? Or a TV? Actually, we were hoping we could ask you a few questions, if that would be all right with you. Ask away. I'm the master of the road I walk, and I'm more than happy to tell the world all about it. Yeah, cool. So, uh, have you been to FOSMAP today? And if so, did you notice anything... off about it? What did you just say? I just asked if you've been to FOSMAP. FOSMAP? FOSMAP! You dare bring up FOSMAP in my presence? Leave. Now. Out of my sight. Uh-huh. I don't even want to hear the name of one of those mega retailers. Your money isn't wanted here, and neither are you. Now go. You're interfering with my work. Scram! The moose! Wait, please! 
That didn't go well. No, it did not. He must really hate the big-time electronics dealers for stealing all his customers. H how was I supposed to know that? I didn't do anything wrong, I swear! No, you were fine. Though this does leave us with a lot of doubts as to whether or not Hahabu is our deluser. We could try talking to him again tomorrow. If his responses are different, then it's definitely him. Tomorrow will be too late. Given how pushy the Freedom Fighters are, I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. They'll do whatever it takes and step on whoever they have to in order to open up that delusion scape. And then they'll just go and destroy it. But if Hahabu's delusion is nullified and he's returned to his old life... The rumors of his wife and child leaving him and his thoughts of suicide don't paint a very nice picture. And there's no way we can call it a day yet. You bet there isn't. Mippity, Yamato, can you guys keep watch over Hahabu? Sure thing. <laughs> fine. And what about me? You're on my team. We're going to take another look at that delusion. Why do I have to team up with you? Hmm. Looks like nothing's changed. Except that it's already dusk. Yeah. Pretty shade of orange, isn't it? Ugh, <sighs> this is no time to admire the view. Dusk is always so lonely. Huh? What do you think, Ko? Nothing, one way or the other. Though it does make me wonder. Hmm? Wonder what? Where did that lady get off to? Which lady? You know. The one in the orange clothes. With the ego the size of Tokyo. Oh, you mean Saki. Was that her name? Are you worried about her? Don't get the wrong idea. I just thought about her because of this obnoxious orange sky, that's all. She was a friend of yours, wasn't she? A friend, huh? Well, wasn't she? Not was is. She's still our friend. Still your friend after all she's done? Have you not been paying attention? She has her reasons for everything she's done. Sure, she can be overbearing sometimes, but that's just because she puts her all into doing what she feels is right. I wonder where she is, and what she's doing right now. She still hasn't been found? No. We still have no idea where she might be. I see. <sighs> what has you so glum all of a sudden? Oh, sorry. I was just wondering what Saki would do at a time like this. Hmm. So tell me, what would she do? Just what we're doing now. She's with me. Even now, she's with me. Is she now? You bet she is. Come on, let's keep on searching Akiba. Legwork's the key to any good investigation. Ah, oh, well, that was a waste of time. Maybe. No sign of the Freedom Fighters anywhere, either. You don't think they've just not noticed the electronics delusion yet, do you? One sec, Mippity's calling. Asahi! Is he on the move? Uh, well, I don't know about on the move, but he has left work for the day. He's gone home. Huh. Already? I followed him from a safe distance, though, so now I know where he lives. Should I keep watching him? A little creepy, but... Wait, how are things on your end? Nothing's panned out so far, sadly. And we haven't seen hide nor hair of the Freedom Fighters. Does that mean they're not even on the case, do you think? Can't think of any other reason. Hmm, I wonder why not. Maybe we should just ask. Wait, what? Sorry, Mippity. Been talking to myself a lot lately. Mind joining back up with Ko for now? I've got one place in mind that I'd like to check out on my own. I'll get back to you again in a bit. What are you talking about? What place? Uh, sorry, Ko, but I'd like you to join up with Ryu and Yamato ahead of me. I'll be back in a jiffy. Yeah? Wait, stop! We've been tossed aside! Hey, boss, what happened here? Oh, Asahi, it was him. He came and attacked us. Him? Who's him? Are you all right? The, the pink man, delusion contractor cannon. Oh. What? Hey, are you okay? Speak to me. Dang it, boss. You shouldn't tease Asahi like that. Not cool, boss. Akari! Aoi! What's going on here? 
Boss ate too many kebabs. He was really shoveling them down. I've never seen a man so excited to consume kebabs. What? Are you seriously telling me he's down for the count from overeating? <laughs> we love Akihabara and we fight for Akihabara. Ain't nothing in our statement that goes against kebabs. Worrying about you was a mistake. Well, fun's over. You wouldn't have come here solo if you didn't have something important to talk about, would you? Is it about our sub boss? It's actually not this time. Which means it's gotta be about the source of the new consumer electronics delusion. Uh. <laughs> Eloquence is silver, but stupefied silence is gold. And there's gold in them thar hills. <laughs> Asahin is gold! He sparkles. He's rich! Kari, you might want to take a page out of Asahi's book here. You've been leaking way too much of our info. Which actually ain't a big deal, because as you can see, Asahi, we got nothing. Totally in the dark this time. So you're not chasing down the source of the electronics delusion? <laughs> Come on. You know us better than that by now. No reason not to chase him down, and no reason not to smash him. In fact, I bet you ten yen my right-hand man's just about found our deluser now. You've got Mizuki hunting the source of the delusion? <laughs> Guess you better get moving, huh? Wouldn't want him to get there first. No, we would not. See you around, boss. Actually, hold up a sec. Do you still think of Mizuki as a friend? Even after all this? What? Friend, huh? I... Certainly didn't take you long to make new friends. Sounds like they're waiting on you. Big surprise. I don't care if they're waiting. I'm talking to you right now. I have nothing to talk about. <sighs> Hello? Remember us? Ko? When I call, you are to answer within two rings. I was nice this time, but next time, I'm hanging up after one. Sorry, sorry. So what's the story? That's my line. Where the hell are you? How long do you plan on keeping me waiting? Oh, right, yeah. My bad. We're all waiting by the electronics delusion. Get over here, now. Wait, just listen for a sec. Oh, what, an excuse? Oh, I can hardly wait. It's not that. It's just I... Damn it, I told you to listen! Ugh, I better hurry back. Life isn't long enough to justify how long you kept us waiting. I will never forget you tossing me away like a used burger wrapper! Pinkoon may forgive, but he does not forget! I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't mind. It really wasn't that bad. So, where'd you go? Um, well... From excuses to secrets. Ugh. Let us off your mediocre roller coaster of deceit. I went to meet with the Freedom Fighters. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you bring us along, you oaf? I didn't do it to be mean. This would have been the perfect chance to exact my revenge. I hope you at least drove them to self-destruction while you were there. No, I didn't. Then why am I even talking to you? Ugh. The depths of your impotence continue to astound. Okay, so you met with the Freedom Fighters. Did you learn anything about the delusion? Or what they're up to? Yeah. Well, it's not much, but... I mean, it's something. The Freedom Fighters are definitely on this, but they seem to be chasing after something different than we are. That mean they think someone else is the deluser? Could it really be anyone other than Hahabu, though? That's seeming more and more likely. But this is the Freedom Fighters we're talking about. They were probably lying just to throw us off, the scum. I don't know if I see them going through that much trouble just to get us off their tail. Knowing their boss, I'd imagine he'd sooner challenge us to a fight directly than try a sneaky trick like that. Which is why I think they've figured something out already. Something that we just aren't seeing. Does this mean that we're going to resume our search for suspicious people? I wish it did. But it's about late enough that the Akiba crowds are starting to thin out. Meaning that we're done for the day. Alright, let's meet up here again tomorrow at the crack of noon. We should be able to speak with Hahabu again and find out if he's our deluser too. Now that's a plan. 
Pat yourselves on the back, everyone. You've earned it. Aha, Asahi! Whoa, hey! This is great! I've been looking all over for you. Long time no see. Not if you look at it calendar-wise. Oh, yeah. Short time no see, I guess. So, Asahi, would you mind if I vented at you just a bit? Huh? Vent? At me? That's what I said. You're in neat, so it's not like you don't have the time, right? There's no way I'm getting out of this without being vented at, is there? Oh, so you really don't have time? Oh, no, I do. Honestly, I don't even mind that much. The only thing waiting for me back home is my bed. And if you really want to vent that badly, something must have happened. So, what's the story? Well, you know those just one of those days, days? They don't stop when you're a grown-up. If you would, please just wait right there for a moment. What? Where are you going? Just wait there. Uh, okay. There we are. Sorry about that. All this adult talk got me thinking about adult beverages. Here you go. Cheers. Um, cheers. <sighs> that hits the spot. Nothing else quite like a can of Chew High on a crisp December night. How come I only get a Mr. Pepper? Because only adults get to drink alcohol, dum-dum. Now, you ready for some vent explosion? <sighs> yeah, let's do this. If you're sad enough to vent to a lonely neat like myself, I'll take whatever you can dish. I've had a very good friend since way long ago. The old childhood friend trope, you could say. We always did everything together. We chase around a soccer ball in the schoolyard, play catch on the riverbank, that sort of thing. Those are some outdoorsy hobbies. My point is we were together constantly since we first met in elementary school, through junior high and high school too. We went to separate colleges, but we'd always meet up in Tokyo in the spring. So I always thought we'd be together forever. I don't like where this is going. In spring, we rode together on a single bike through roads lined with sakura trees in full bloom. In summer, we attended the Neighborhood Association's festival and tried to fire off some fireworks. Got the popo on us. In fall, we tried to roast up some sweet potatoes with fallen leaves and kind of triggered a small fire scare. And in winter, since it was so cold, we'd always, always make snowmen together. And I thought we'd always continue on just like that. Forever and ever. So even though you were that close, you still... Time has a way of changing people. Maybe it was our environments catching up with us, I don't know. But whatever the case, as much as I wanted things to stay the same forever, they just didn't. They couldn't. We all grow up eventually. And when we do, we all end up walking our own roads. Would you say you're fighting with your childhood friend then? Don't know if you can even really call that a fight. More like... A passing scowl. Trivial nonsense, really. And you don't think you two can make up? Hmm, dunno, maybe. I'd sure like to. Wait, what? Are you waiting for your friend to apologize to you or something? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I think I kind of messed up the story a little bit. But I really, really do want to make up. God, you're drunk already, aren't you? After one chew high? <laughs> I'm fine. So, Asahi, do you remember who I am yet? Huh? Uh, um... I <laughs> can't believe you, but thank you. I feel a lot better getting all of that off my chest. I mean, all I did was sit here and listen, but I'm happy to do that whenever you need me to. I think it's about time you and I both head home now. I hope you're able to make up with your friend. You too, Asahi. Sorry, what? See you around. Me too. What's wrong? Could that have been... Yeah. in case the power goes out. <sighs> Asahi, you doing all right? I just can't figure out why. Hey, Mizuki, how about this? If you let me ride on your back, we'll get there way faster. This is a school road, we'll get in trouble. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, now up we go. How about you pedal, and I ride you piggyback instead? Yo, Mizuki, check it out! Is this not like the very picture of summer? Whoa, what the heck? Where did you get all those fireworks? 
The old man at the stand just gave him to me. Let's fire him off after the festival. Asahi, what did I tell you about going overboard? Better overboard than underboard, right? Nobody will notice if we set these off in the empty lot around back anyway. All right. But if the cops catch us, you're gonna have to bow and plead and apologize enough for both of us. Got it? What have you got there? You've got a ridiculous smile on your face, and that's never a good sign. Read them and weep, man. Sweet potatoes. We're gonna roast them up good. And where exactly do you plan on doing this? Don't tell me you're talking about that vacant lot again. Of course I am. There's a ton of fallen leaves there, so we'll have a fire going in no time. <sighs> I can see where this is going. I'll go get some buckets ready, just in case of the inevitable. Achoo! Where are your clothes? It's the dead of winter, man. At least wear a scarf. I'm fine in this. I'm like the sun. I generate my own heat. Then am I just imagining you shivering like a scared chihuahua? Yeah, you are. It's just your imagination. I'm not gonna let a little snow keep me down. Yeah, that's probably just a coincidence. It's gotta be. Yo, Asahi! Pink control to Major Asahi! What's gotten into you? Huh. Talk to me, Dingus! Talk to me! <laughs> know what? I don't even care anymore. Good. Looks like the gang's all here. Don't you? Looks like the gang's all here, us. Especially when you're always the last to show up. Can you really expect anything else from a neat, though? If he were the first one here, I'd actually be worried. Can't argue with that. So what now, alarmless leader? Ko, you and I are off to talk to Hahabu again. Nippity and Yamato, you two keep watch around here. Roger, Dodger. Oh boy, more waiting around. Why am I stuck with you again today? Everyone know their roles? Good. Let's move out. Hey! I asked you a question. Hey! Ah, no errors in judgment here. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Exact same as yesterday. Word for word. So he's not the Deluser then? Let's talk to him just to be sure. But try to be discreet about it. Ah! Hmm? Now he's noticed us. At least have the decency to put your phone on vibrate. Who'd be calling me now anyway? Huh? Nippity? Asahi! Are you okay? What's going on? The Delusionscape entrance! It's appeared! What? It has? Whatever you two did, it must have worked. Ryu, don't move a muscle. We'll be right there. The entrance? Yeah. Come on, we have to hurry. Here, right here. That's an entrance, all right. But why did it appear? Huh? It wasn't you two? Nope, definitely not. We didn't have a chance to do anything. And Hahabu was repeating the exact same dialogue he said yesterday anyway. Why is this here then? I'm guessing the real Deluser has been disturbed in some way. Well, at least we can cross Mr. Electronics off our suspect list. We've been after the wrong man this whole time. I'd say we lucked out, though. I don't think anyone else has gone in there yet. Then we'll be the first. One small step for Neat. Hold it. What is it, Cole? What do you plan on doing in there? Well... It's up to you whether to nullify or preserve it. Choose wisely. I have no idea. What kind of answer is that? The kind of answer that a guy who knows we can't let somebody else go in and destroy it gives. Now come on, everybody. Headed into the delusionscape? I will... 
Keep watch outside. Yeah. <laughs>